Um, yes, the, uh, the title is IoT from Edge to Cloud. So um, let's talk about the IoT. The problem with IoT is that almost every company claims that they have a solution for distributed IoT networks. And we, as Tridium, we claim that we also have a solution for that. Um, but let's discuss where the IoT is coming into the building. We do not need more sensors than we do have today. We do not need more devices. We already have all these devices and we already have a lot of data and we gather a lot of data in our buildings. And the more data we gather in our buildings, the more we know. And if we have all the data, then we can have, or we, then we have a clear picture of our buildings. But to, what do we do with the data? Yeah, we need to truly understand it to truly manage the buildings cost effectively. The problem is that we have a lot of different systems and we have no system, so far there is no system that provides a solution from the edge level, from the device level, to the cloud level. But Niagara does it. We have edge connectivity, we have cloud connectivity, and we do that with one open solution. You all know this problem. We have N systems in our building, we have N and systems. That means that we have a lot of systems that needs to be, need to be maintained. The facility manager needs to be trained in every system. And if you are happy, then the systems know of each other and um, the systems can control each other. But the true solution would be to have one system that gathers all the data and it doesn't matter which protocol. And then you normalize the data into components and then you can access the data from all your panels and, of course, from mobile devices as well. So let's recap. I already to told you that the Niagara framework normalizes the data and brings it into one system. Um, the true advantage of Niagara is also that it's scalable, means it can run on edge devices, it can run on controller level. It can run on computers, on PCs. And it doesn't matter if it's Linux or Windows or any other system, as long as it can run a JVM. And it can run on enterprise level or in the cloud. And everything in Niagara is done with one tool. Means we have one tool for the integration, one tool for the engineering, and the same tool for configuration of the users, for configuration of the web server, and for the graphics. And the best is it's extensible. means we have a library of open, fully documented APIs. We support our partners in developing their own drivers, their own systems into Niagara. And this can be a short component that just is just a little Java program. It can be a driver for some proprietary network that the customer has. And it can be a whole new user interface that sits on top of Niagara. And um, there is more and more requirement to gather all the data. And uh, if we see that 60% of all projects are retrofitting projects, it's very, very essential that you have and can gather the data without the additional need of hardware gateways or without the need to exchange the controllers into some other device. So Niagara supports all these and many more um, protocols and we have drivers for all these protocols. So there's no additional hardware needed and we can yeah, integrate devices from edge level like Sigfox devices LoRa devices or LMB devices. We can, of course, integrate the usual protocols that you all know, like KNX, DALI. And uh, we can 
bring this data up to the cloud with MQTT or other RESTful web services. And of, <coughs> excuse me. And of course, you can uh, connect Niagara to your company's ERP system because we have also connection to SQL, MySQL databases, or you can add just export data um, yeah, as a CSV file. And I told you the Niagara, network is, uh, Niagara framework is extensible, and uh, all these drivers are not only developed by us, we have a list of third-party drivers that are developed by our partners, by our Niagara, T Niagara community partners, I'm coming to that later. And um, yeah, there is a full list and an open marketplace for these Niagara drivers in the Niagara community. So um, I've talked about the integration bit. Um, also, everyone claims today that Ni or their software is cyber secure. Uh, the good thing by, of Niagara is we are secure by default, means when you install Niagara and when you use it, by default we have switched on all the security features. So it's quite hard to make Niagara unsecure. Of course, you can choose whichever authentication scheme you like, but we support all the latest security standards. We have fully responsible HTML5 a user interface, that means you can also, of course, access the graphics that you design with your mobile device. We have dashboard and analytics functionality, and you can create your own apps for yeah, your facility engineer or whoever uses Niagara. So as I already told you, you have an open web architecture, fully HTML5, with dashboard functionality, and um, you can of course, use our existing graphics. We also have DIN symbols available, of course. Um, but you can also create your own graphic library and use your own corporate identity design. So, um, yeah, talking about data analysis a lot. Um, and I al also already mentioned that we have analytics capabilities. Um, we add metadata to our data points, to our devices, and to all devices in the Niagara network by tagging. Means we add metadata and we support the project Haystack um, so that we have metadata that is common and commonly known by all the devices in all the network. And we use this tagging functionality to create user navigation. We call that hierarchies. So depending on the user level, and depending on the metadata that is applied to the components, these uh, navigation for the user is automatically created so the user can navigate through the system in the browser. We also use the tagging and metadata for creating templates, which speeds up your engineering extensively. Means if you have metadata, if you're using metadata in the system, then and you use one of the templates that you or your colleague or your OEM has provided you with, you just drag and drop the template into the Niagara station, and then um, it automatically links to the inputs and outputs that are known to the system. Of course, you can search um, your system according to the metadata, and we apply um, Niagara analytics algorithms that are also based on these metadata. Um, I already talked about the scalability um, of our Niagara network. And um, you can put the Niagara software onto your own device. But of course, there no, not every customer has his own hardware development. So we also provide a smart controller solution, or JS8000, as a smart controller and integration platform. So whatever is running on my PC, whichever Niagara station is running on my PC, it can also run on the JACE. So you have Niagara very, very close to the edge devices. And of course, with um, RS-485 ports and additional optional uh, I.O. ports, it's uh, possible to get rid of a lot of additional hardware. 
in your building. Now um, let's look a little bit into more detail what our edge integration capabilities are. So if you have a JACE, of course, you can connect to all the devices that are in the field. But as I already mentioned, you do not need additional hardware. You do not need the JACE. You can also integrate it directly to your Niagara supervisor software. And um, the supervisor then can act as a management system. Mm, this picture always looks a little bit like a little bit much at the beginning. But uh, what it basically shows is you have your normal system, you have your CCTV, you have all the other systems that are in a building. You can integrate them locally with your JACE controller or you can, of course, uh, switch that into every other Niagara device that runs Niagara. And then you can securely connect it with your Niagara supervisor or you can provide the data to any IoT cloud that you have or may have in your company. Um, at, the, at the end, or nearly the end, I would like to talk um, about the Niagara community. So I mentioned that we have all these drivers available, and these drivers were, um, wouldn't have been developed without our Niagara community. So that's what we call our partner network. We have sold over 650,000 licenses so far worldwide. We have partners in over 80 countries and we have over 20,000 certified Niagara trained engineers worldwide. And all these people form the Niagara community, which is an open forum to exchange knowledge about Niagara. We also have the Trinity University online available where you can get online training in Niagara, so you do not need to come to us to get an in-class training. We also provide uh, vir uh, virtual training and we pre we also have the Niagara Marketplace where our partners and our development partners can um, show what they have developed in Niagara. So basically the Niagara App Store, if you want. Um, now the most interesting part, where can you buy Niagara? So we sell Niagara through OEMs and uh, these are the OEMs who are here at the Leiden building this year and that can show you additional value that they have created within Niagara. They have created their own smart controllers running Niagara. And they are all available. Some are available here at the Vacnet booth. Some are available in this, car, uh, in this uh, hall. And some are available in hall 11. And um, if you have more questions or require more information about Niagara, I'm absolutely happy to talk to you about it. Um, we are here at the Bucknet booth, right over there, so just come to us, or if you prefer additional information via web, just visit trillium.com. Thank you very much.